Hey, what's going on everyone? I um, wanted to do a video on my latest HTPC project. This is the um, new AMD um, 5350 Athlon. It runs on the AM1 platform. I, I was I was um, excited about it because my last HTPC um, that ran on the E350 uh, died on me um, so I needed a replacement and this was released recently um, so this is the box that um, came in the 5350 came in and it's a 2 gigahertz processor uh, quad core with um, 25 watts runs at 25 watts so and the board that I went with is an MSI AMI what is this like 70 78 65 so this is the motherboard and I've already installed it on my M350 case I was a little concerned about the height of the heat sink and fan because um, it's slightly taller than uh, my old E350 configuration but it still worked out it's a mini ITX setup um, let me get you a closer look to the the height of the um, heat sink and the hard drive tray it works out pretty well um, the only thing is you could no longer have two um, hard drive trays you could only have one um, which is right here this is where my SSD is but you could actually have two um, with a different configuration uh, it's not gonna work because the the fan itself is just um, too tall it's not gonna allow you to put a hard drive on this side so the hard drive can only be on this side let's see if I can uh, go over a little bit about the motherboard aside from the specs that you could already see um, on their website but it's similar to the um, E350 setup where the RAM is on this side towards the front um, has the uh, connections here and I'm running the Pico PSU Similar to my old um, E350 setup, so if you want to check that other video out to get more details uh, on the case and the uh, power supply. But here is the guy. Just have one hard drive. It's a um, 60 gig SSD um, OCZ Vertex Plus. So. It isn't one of the faster ones, it's just a SATA 2, but its main purpose is uh, to run an HTPC. So I don't need the, uh, the fastest and the largest. Let me um, put this guy back. The uh, Pico PSU is, I believe, an 80 or 85 watt PSU. Back still comes with the ever so popular PS2 connection um, we got HDMI VGA DVI two USB 3.0's two USB 2.0's gigabit ethernet and your sound card the sound card um, is 7.1 capable and the HDMI according to their website says it it'll do 4k display uh, UHD 4k don't have a 4k display yet but uh, it's it's capable of doing that but the last time I used a uh, an AMD processor was what is that the Athlon XP the Barton and um, so it's it's been a while since I used the um, an Athlon processor. So 
so far I'm, I'm fairly happy with the performance um, it uses very low power it's a uh, I usually get about what is it 14 to 15 watts during usage um, so it's 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 very low powered which is what I like especially on HTPC now this guy is a little um, louder than my E350 so now one of the bad things I don't like with the setup is the video drivers uh, don't work so I don't know if it's just too new but on Windows 7 64-bit uh, professional um, the drivers that MSI has provided as well as what's available on the website it gives an error when I try to install them so it gives me like um, this this thing needs to be installed uh, with admin admin account or whatever so I uh, tried to install it several times and right clicked on it and run as administrator or whatever but um, it still doesn't work it still gives me the same error and I've tried several um, Linux distribution um, I actually prefer to run it on Linux because it's a little bit faster and uh, I just like it I don't want to spend a whole day patching it up like I did with Windows 7 recently but I've tried to run it on um, what is that Linux Mint 16 and I get a software rendering warning uh, when I get on the uh, the desktop and um, let's see there are no drivers that I found um, that support the Kavini so it might it may just be just too new I also tried uh, Ubuntu 13 um, I pretty sure I wasn't gonna get far with it as well just because of what happened in Linux Mint I mean they're pretty much the same uh, same or very similar uh, distro so uh, what else did I do I tried my luck on um, XBMC Ubuntu and yeah I'm, I, I was pretty sure it's gonna be same because um, it's built on top of Ubuntu so so far um not getting any good results uh, as far as stability is concerned um on windows because the driver didn't install properly um i i couldn't run xbmc it gives me a gui error because of that um the driver failed installation um so hopefully they release something soon so i can um get going with my little project so I, I don't have a an HTPC right now I'm, I'm streaming off my desktops um, let me go ahead and fire it up and show you some um, readings on my kilowatt okay so I got the stuff plugged in and it's not turned on yet but let me show you the consumption while wow, it's just plugged in it's a uh, 1.7 let's see 1.7 1.6 1 1.7 so let me go ahead and um, power it on now let's jump in a little bit So it's um, right now I have Windows 7 Professional 64 bit on it um, as my current testing environment. Um, it's loading up the desktop right now. Um, is everything loaded? Looks like everything is loaded. And I'm at about 11 watts, 10.6, just jumping around, but let's just say 11 watts. So I'm, I'm on the desktop of Windows 7 and things are just loaded um, or yeah, it's probably still loading stuff because the wattage is uh, jumping around but but this is pretty much around the the numbers that um, I get 
when it's turned on. Um, so it's 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 pretty low power consumption. Um, I, I I like it very much. Now let me uh, swing back here. So this is um, how it sounds when it's turned on. Um, unfortunately, I have my hexacore on too at the same time in the same room, so uh, it, the the sound of my hexacore is probably getting in the way of this. But it it isn't too loud. Let me try to bring it in a little bit. Maybe you can uh, get more from the the noise this guy's making. So um, it's it's not that loud, but my old E three fifty setup was was a uh, less noisy. Um, but that's not to say that this guy is noisy. So all right, so that's about it. Um, yeah, again, I'm not having much luck with uh, drivers. I'm pretty sure because it's new still. Um, hopefully they release some new driver versions and I can get my HTPC up and running again so there you go that's my new project uh, AMD Athlon 5350 quad core um, running at 25 watts with the MSI um, what is this like 78 something 78 uh, MSI 7865 AM1 platform running um, 2 gigahertz HyperX RAM Kingston HyperX RAM um, I believe it's 4 gigs and if you want more info on the M350 case that I'm running it in uh, I have another video but that video is running my old E350 that don't work on me anymore um, so in the Pico PSU and that's about it so don't forget to subscribe check out my other videos also check out my blog I have a couple of um, things I posted on there regarding this build and the troubles that I'm um, facing at the moment so that's it thanks for watching